also if we want to print the shape of my shape of feature shape of labels if we execute this we have to give feature dot a p e p now execute this so my feature now here uh, i will explain in later part of this topic why it is coming like this we'll deal with one of the like hands on okay. now so we have the 30th uh, 30th columns right 30th rows and one column and uh, now what is the next step normally we just do the next step is a sampling step number six is the sampling we need to divide at a train and a test so for that we need to use a sklearn a scikit learn library okay from sklearn dot cross validation dot cross validation import train test fit Import train test fit. Okay, then see we need to divide the data like this way. X train x test comma y train comma y test is equals to train test fit. Then first we need to pass our feature followed by label followed by feature label then test site. Test underscore size is equal to suppose we give the 0 0.3. Okay, 0 0.3 it means 30% of my data, like of my whatever uh, df underscore train, 30% will be my test data and 70% will be my train data. Okay, now after the test size, we need to give the random state. Random underscore state is equal to 0. We need to execute this. Okay. So what is my X train? So you can see the X train is normally it is divided like the 30 records out of that 70% will be 21 records. So in that all the years of experience is like 70 21 records of years of experience is extracted here, and in this Eight records. Uh, it means nine records from zero to eight is nine records extracted. Now, once this is done, we need to create our linear regression model, which is step number seven. Create the linear regression. So for that from scikit-learn we will import the linear model okay from sklearn dot linear model import linear regression now once this is imported we need to create an object of this linear regression so regression is equals reg is my object is equal to linear regression and the moment it is created, we'll execute this first. Okay, so my if we print what is my regression? So my regression is nothing but model is created. Now we need to fit this model, which is the next step. Step number eight is to fit the regression model. In our case, we have named it as RG model that we have prepared with train and test data set in the sampling step. 
Now after that we need to uh, fit it. How do we fit? Our model, uh, the object of our model is regression dot simple f fit. We need to pass x underscore train comma y underscore train. Now this is the step where we will train our model. So you execute this. So the moment we train our model, our imaginary line, like which I have shown in the paint, this line will be created where it will where based on the this line we can predict for 2.3 years what will be my years of experience for eight years while what will be my years of experience. So this line is nothing but based on all these lines, okay. This all these different lines scatter plots so we will get somewhere around mean mean of these points and will get the regression line that i will explain what is r square what is root mean square everything at the bottom end of this uh, topic but for the time being what we will do we will do again we will draw a scatter plot plt dot scatter and then we will x underscore train comma y underscore train comma we will give color this equals to r and plt dot show control enter so this is my original value now what is my the regression line which is created for from uh, generated x train comma regression dot predict x underscore train comma color is equals to blue so you can see this line is generated based on my prediction whatever model which i have created once i have fit and this line will be created okay now if we execute both the line then it will be created together so you can see all the different points okay for two years four years six years what will be the experience for a person whose experience is four year for him the salary will be somewhere around what will do uh, okay first for him the salary will be somewhere around 50,000 but as per this a linear regression model it will show somewhere around 60,000 okay this is because of the root mean square error that we have to face but it will show us the approximation value that it will print or it will show 